Hello everybody, um, today we're going to talk a little bit about Seattle and the Seattle area and particularly the what's called the Puget Sound area. Um, so there's quite a lot of big discussion here, um, it's going to be quite a discussion. So, um, But I wanted to start with this map here so you can kind of see um, where Seattle is. But we're going to zoom out on the earth so you can see basically where Seattle is relative to everything. So um, I have all the earthquakes set here too, so hold on a second, let me turn that off. So I wanted to start with this map um, basically showing where Seattle is. Um, so um, the interesting thing about Seattle is that it's basically located along the Pacific Ocean here. Um, a lot of the cities in America are Atlantic Ocean cities, uh, but Seattle is quite different um, because it's part of the basically Pacific Ocean cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco. Um, so basically along the coast, the the Pacific Ocean, there's really only those major cities, San Francisco, which is kind of down in here region, and then Los Angeles down in here, and then maybe San Diego. Um, but basically, other than that, those are the major cities, and Seattle is basically one of them. It's actually not really right on the Pacific Ocean like the uh, like San Francisco and Los Angeles. So there's basically what's called the Puget Sound area. So if you're not familiar with that, there's kind of a big island in here. I'm going to keep zooming in until you kind of see, you get the point where where Seattle is so Seattle's right over here um, and there's basically quite a lot of earthquakes in the region as you can see um, they're starting to load up more and more earthquakes um, as I zoom in here you'll slowly start to see where Seattle is so Seattle just started to show up right there it's actually started with the S area but I'm gonna keep zooming in so you see where exactly it is um, so what we're going to try to do is look at all the businesses in the area, primarily focus on uh, what the business environment is in the area um, and see where um, basically the work is in the Seattle area. And then now the load, roads are starting to load in and you can see up to the North Pole here um, and basically here's down in Portland. Um, it's basically about 200 miles. This is this is 200 miles basically between Portland, about three hour drive uh, between Seattle and Portland, maybe two and a half hours depending on the speed that you're driving at. Um, but basically, um, how this all started is there's basically a, definitely a north side of Seattle and a south side. So if you're familiar with other cities like Chicago, um, basically it's mostly just west of the Lake Michigan. But here we definitely have a north side, which is all up to here. This goes up to Canada and then the south side. Most of the people live on the south side of Seattle. I'm going to be stopping this video periodically from time to time because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to look at here. So here's the overall population map of the Seattle Puget Sound area. You can see there's quite a lot of people up in Canada. Um, this is one of the largest cities in Canada, and then Seattle is basically right in here. Now you can see that there's quite a suburban sprawl starting to head out into the hills here, um, as well as down in Tacoma, as well as further even out towards the ocean front. So it's not exactly right on the ocean, as you might think. Here's kind of the main map that we're going to be using for the road system for the Seattle area. Um, and then we're going to look at basically the south side. The south side is this, so there's basically this portion right in between here. This basically the north side is up here and this is south side down here. So this basically this is the divider line right in here. So I'll just put a little arrow pointing right out here and then right about here for the uh, other side. And that's basically the north-south line right there on that map. Uh, and then we're going to go pretty far south looking at some things and then you can see all the fur furthest south you can get is Portland but we're not really going to look at Portland here um, but again Seattle is basically this whole region right in here um, including Tacoma I would say as well so again on this map you're going to see that the downtown area is pretty much this whole area right in here um, with a kind of a focus right in here so I'm going to put a yellow marker here to show where the main downtown area is for Seattle. And it's actually kind of even on this side, so it's kind of mainly on the south side of this and then kind of along this waterfront here right there. Now where I live is basically out here in Moscow Pullman, so we're kind of part of the farming community for the Seattle area, so this whole area is basically the farmland um, for uh, all of Seattle. And I'm going to go ahead and circle that all in green, but there's basically quite a lot of farmland all throughout here that's basically all farmland. And then there's even a separate section that heads down in through here, um, this area here, and this heads down into southern Idaho. 
Um, and this even goes further, so I'll even do another arrow here, but it basically goes way far down there. And this is basically about two thirds of the farmland. The other one third is missing off this map. So what we're gonna try to do is look at each one of these urban areas. So these are the urban areas right in here. You can see there's kind of little slippets of these bigger areas within the farmland. So there's some, quite a lot of farmland right here up in uh, Canada, Vancouver, Bellingham area. And then there's kind of these urban pockets that they show up as kind of silver. And we're gonna look at all those here in this study. Here's up in Vancouver, so basically what we're going to try to do is kind of circle all these urban areas and carefully look at what's going on in each one of them. And then here's Bellingham, a nice little city out in northern uh, Seattle. Um, we're going to look at that carefully as well as some others, and then here's some other details. Now here's kind of more of the heading down into Everett and some of the islands uh, in the Seattle area. Um, and then heading further south, now we're starting to get towards Seattle downtown proper. And there's going to be some urban areas right in here that we want to look at and see what's going on. Um, and then here's the north side. So basically, um, you know, what we got here is there's these two sections, right? So we basically have from here, this area here, and then from here all the way down south. So then the main downtown area wasn't really in that picture. But here now you can start to see the main downtown area and I'll highlight that with blue as you, see, you can see um, this picture shows it a lot better now some of these maps are going to be a little bit weird or foreign to look at but this is the major um, road system maps uh, for Seattle area as well as the train system there's actually a pretty heavy train uh, system that goes all along the west coast that heads right into uh, Seattle called the Empire Train and then here's just the population. So you can see that this downtown area, um, which I'm gonna circle in bright blue, um, again, is pretty much the main area. Um, but then there's actually kind of biased towards the south side again, like we haven't, like we didn't talk about. And then the main downtown area is actually right in here. I'm just sorry if that does that right. And then last but not least, we're gonna look at the main areas here. So this is kind of like focused on this. So you can see the main downtown area is like right in here which is really like Lake Union right here. Uh, and then the further the buildings are kind of along the sky front here. So you are gonna take a look at that and then see how this all heads down to here, this urban kind of work zones here. And then this kind of the, uh, this is the residential areas of Seattle, um, kind of in the downtown, pretty close to downtown. And all this is within a few miles of each other in this map here. So this map really impressed me primarily because I can really see details here um, that uh, are not completely obvious. So like out here in Bellingham, or excuse me, uh, this is kind of a side city just off of uh, Seattle. You can see that there's a little bit of a city here. Um, and then you can see there's basically some areas that are hard to define. So I'm gonna go in and kind of zoom in and show what that city is here. So basically there's the downtown area here, right? And then there's kind of like a sub downtown area here, south side of the city. And I'm gonna erase that, do it like this actually. And then a separate city right in here, which is kind of the uh, port of Seattle. And then there's a whole section, section right in here. And then a whole section right in here as well, right? And then there's kind of two sections right in here, but I'm gonna put this as a separate section like this, and then a section right in here, which includes here. So this is kind of a weird section here. And then the University of Washington section over here. And then even a section right in here. So we're gonna look at each one of those carefully. Now if you zoom out, there's actually even another section that we really should have looked at, which is this whole kind of beast right in here. And that's kind of the farthest south of the downtown area with the, with the airport right being right in here. There's some companies in that area. So sorry, I kind of moved some things around here, but, um, but basically you get the general idea. And then there's a mysterious area, which is kind of like right along this highway all the way up here and we'll even add this section here because I want to kind of look at it uh, as one piece. So overall there's just a lot to look at um, but we want to kind of focus on the downtown area um, in particular. 
So again, we're talking about three hours essentially from Portland to Seattle. Um, and as we zoom in here, you're going to see some of these details. Uh, this isn't exactly where I would say you'd want to stop in Seattle, but it's going to load up the map a little more detail so we can see. Um, but we're going to try to see the downtown area here in a second. Unfortunately, it loads a little bit slowly um, because there's a lot of buildings. But uh, one thing I would comment is that it's fairly easy to walk um, like from around this basically about a couple miles right so you can walk like basically one mile is like around here this would be another mile two miles and three miles and so on so um, but um, it's fairly easy to walk all the way along the waterfront here um, or this little uh, canal that goes into uh, the lake here uh, but here you can see Bellevue uh, so the really important thing to realize about Seattle is there's basically this Bellevue downtown and then there's also the Seattle downtown and you can see the Space Needles right over here. And this is kind of a 3D view of the Space Needle, which is kind of cool to look at. We'll just go all the way around this because it's such a beautiful uh, imagery that you can see. You can see there's a little park here um, down in that area around it. It's pretty nice. It's kind of a pretty large park to be surprising. But right here you can see it's kind of spinning around looking at the whole Space Needle. Pretty cool project whoever did this. So... As you can see, the downtown is kind of, it doesn't really show you, but it's on a very, very steep hill. Um, it really doesn't explain how steep that hill is. Um, it's really hard to see on this map, but um, let's see if I can even explain how steep a hill that is. Uh, it doesn't even show. So this hill, it shows like, oh, you just drive down one of these streets, but it's not at all like that. Um, these are very steep hills um, in general. Pike Place Market going right into the water is very steep. Here's a list of some of the top companies uh, in the Seattle area. Uh, you kind of see um, a lot of them here. This is from the Biz Journal um, website. I'm going to post this as well so you can see. But there's these are the most of the top companies in the area. Um, and you'd be surprised uh, how big some of these companies are. And then here's kind of a list of some of the famous people that live in the area. Um, and you can see there's quite, a, or have done some work here. There's a lot of different people here that uh, are from all over the country, really, but um, starting with Jeff Bezos in the area. So a couple things you might be able to do a little bit better with Google Earth is see that hill. You can kind of see the hill up in here, um, but it still doesn't show how serious these hills are. Um, in Seattle, I would say it's um, more yeah, as important or more important uh, than in San Francisco in some places. Um, so the, the hills are very steep here. Here's the here's the uh, Seattle Public Library, kind of the central business district right in here. And I'll kind of move this around so you can see what's going on. There's some quite large buildings in here, um, as you see the Seattle Coast Front. And then here's the Seattle Ports and the piers. I'll zoom out so you can see that a little bit more clearly. And then here you can see how big the, uh, basically this island is, Harbor Island. It's a huge port, um, basically as large as all of downtown Seattle. So a huge amount of uh, industrial work being going on right next to the city. So we're going to try to see the rest of the city for another video because this becomes pretty extensive. This is already quite a long and extensive video so we're going to try to cut it short um, but basically as you see um, there's quite a lot to the city here we just looked at a small portion right in here um, but essentially that goes all the way up north up into Bellingham you can see each one of these cities are definitely worth exploring and then all the way down here into Olympia and then the capital of Washington is actually down in here um, and then Aberdeen this is where Nirvana is from uh, you can take a look at some of the areas there and then even down to Astoria and all the way down into Portland. So quite a lot of other areas to look at. Uh, it'd just be too much for one video. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the study.